So high tech criminals are, are using ultrasound. Um, you know, they have technology that um, allows them to interact with their victim from long ranges. They can see through the body. They can burn the skin. They can tighten the skin. Um, they can lighten the skin or darken it, darkening it all from a remote location. Um, the reason why I'm even talking about this is because these high tech criminals who are, you know, keeping me as their, you know, remote slave or their mobile victim, um, they have the ability to actually be able to tighten various areas of the brain. Um, I've been experiencing some pain um, in my my uh, my neck. Um, this occurred um, this morning. Um, I was perfectly fine on uh, yesterday. Um, as the day went on, uh, the high-tech criminals managed to tighten another area of my brain. Um, the second area that they tighten of my brain, um, each and every time I open my mouth really loud or each and every time I chew my gum, it sh causes a shooting pain to surge in the back of my head. Um, these high tech criminals have an energy weapon and what they were doing earlier was they were actually twisting the energy weapon, actually twisting it in that kind of motion in my head. Uh, the best description of it is pressure. Um, as much as people want to say that, oh, you know, um, this is something that is imagined versus something that is real. Please understand, I have a very good grasp on reality. You know, I just led a group of about 10 people um, where we talked about some important life skills and um, other dynamics. Um, anyway, so um, I have a flight that I am taking tomorrow to... Um, uh, New York. Um, these high tech criminals um, are really good at staging things well in advance. And so, you know, them tightening the area of my neck initially and then my brain um, is just one of the um, many things that they are setting up in advance. High tech criminals um, try to make it always appear like things happen naturally, like the victim is always at fault, that they are imagining things, that this crime is not occurring, that, you know, all of the strange things that many, many people have been talking about is a result of some type of mental decline. Um, when in actuality, these high-tech terrorists are really sabotaging manipulating and orchestrating events in their victims' lives. Um, they do this for profit. They do it for fun. They do it for terrorism. I don't know every specific reason, you know, but what I do know is they get a lot of joy out of it. Um, how do I know? Because they're hijacking uh, my, my radio and they're transmitting their sound in my immediate environment. Um, all illegal, total violations of my rights. But um, back to what I was saying about my head, you know, um, them tightening the back of my, my head and my neck um, is probably because they're going to do something else. If I were to scream too loud or if I were to get frightened, um, the pain in my neck is, is so severe where it could, I don't know what could result from it. It could you know, cause a stroke. It could be a blood vessel. It could be something. And, you know, in essence, I, I, I don't have the resources to go and, you know, take care of this. And more importantly, I can't spend the the next couple of hours, you know, that I have here in Houston at the hospital. And so I, I just really wanted to document this because, you know, this crime is not one that is happening, you know, and the perpetrator is going home. You know, these high tech criminals are keeping real time tabs of their victims and they are torturing me. Um, this is a mobile crime. This is a new form of crime. You know, it needs to be addressed and it needs to be taken seriously. Um, I thank you for your time.